Hi viewers, welcome to Lama Solution. Today we are going to see about design of PA controller for a bug converter using system identification toolbox in MATLAB. So first I am going to explain about the designing of a bug converter. So for that uh, we created a design equation here, right? So here you have to provide the power of a bug converter and then input voltage of the bug converter and then uh, switching frequency and then output voltage requirement and then you have to calculate uh, that mean output uh, current and then here you have to provide uh, ripple inductor current and the ripple capacitor voltage of the converter okay and then uh, this two equation used for calculating that uh, uh, inductance and capacitance of that uh, buck converter inductor value and capacitor value and then here we will get uh, the load resistance value and then duty cycle of the uh, this design equation of buck converter okay so when you have to execute this one so you will see this uh, the value of l c and then load resistance and then duty cycle okay so based upon this equations just you have to create this model okay uh, you create that uh, dc source and then igbt diode and then inductor capacitor and then and this diode and then uh, load resistance okay and then you have to uh, fill the detail from that uh, program execution okay so you just you have to take from this okay uh, just you have to make the uh, buck converter model in the uh, matlab so now i am going to design controller right uh, controller for this buck converter so by using uh, system identification toolbox okay so for that uh, uh, here normally here you can see that this is a buck converter the buck converter going to be controlled by means of uh, pwm generator right so here you have to provide a pwm uh, duty cycle right so here the duty cycle is taken from this design equation right uh, now i'm going to simulate this model okay You will see the input voltage and output voltage of the buck converter. So now it is okay, no problem. But if suppose any changes in the input voltage and load, right? So we cannot maintain uh, uh, this amount of uh, output voltage. For example, here I am going to change the uh, load resistance. Okay. So here I am going to change the input voltage to 60 and then you have to check the result of the output voltage. Now we can see that right if input voltage reduced to uh, 60 volt from 70 to 60 right the output voltage is not made it constant okay. So this is because of uh, uh, we are not using any controller for that buck converter in order to maintain a, a load voltage constant right so here we are going to design a controller right here we are going to design the controller pa controller based upon system identification so for that i am going to measure so the input for this system right currently right it is a duty cycle right so i am going to measure the duty cycle and then here i am going to measure the output voltage of the buck converter right so this is going to be stored in the workspace so just you have to store like this by using two space toolbox okay so after that just you have to simulate this model okay so after simulating this model right the data will be stored in the workspace so input output so now you just you go to apps and then go to control system design and analysis and then just go to use system identification right so click system identification and then first input the data so here you click time uh, time domain data okay and then here you could here here you are going to feed that uh, input and the output data in the workspace so here you can see the input data so that input data should be 
that name should be provided here and then output data name should be provided here so and then here you have to provide this starting time equal to 0 and then sample time so sample time so what are sample time you used for collecting the data so here you can copy that sample time and then you have to provide that sample time here okay just go to provide the sample time here and then import so now you can see that so this is the collected data from that system buck converter okay so now i am going to estimate the transfer function for this model buck converter i collected data so for that click this one and transfer function model so here we are going to design a pa controller so you have to make number of poles equal to one number of zeros equal to one and then click estimate so it going to estimate the the transfer function for your collected data okay so after estimation over just get close and then comes here okay and close this one and then uh, right click this one so after like right click in this model right so we'll see this uh, a transfer function right so in this transfer function just you have to see the a denominator so denominator values s plus 352.7 okay so here you have to take so just you have to compare this value with the, the transfer function of uh, pa controller right so here you can see this is a simple block diagram for a closed loop controller so this is your plant so this plant nothing but uh, this is a transfer function okay and then this is a PA controller. So PA control transfer function is KP plus KA by S. So after simplifying this one, you will get KP S plus KI uh, uh, divided by S. Okay. So now you see that uh, transfer function value, right? So here, right, uh, the coefficient of S flag S, right? So coefficient KP here and then coefficient here is 1. Okay. So we are going to take KP equal to 1 and K equal to we are going to take 352.7. Okay. For uh, PA controller KP and KA value. So now I am going to create the PA controller in this system. So for I am going to save this model. Save us this model. I am going to save us to Close converter to and then here I am going to create closed loop control. So for that I am going to use some and then here I am going to change the plus minus and then one input will be output voltage. So another one is reference voltage. So reference voltage here we need to provide 50. Okay, because the design value is 50 right output voltage should be maintained at 50 so and then you have to use pa controller right so for that i'm going to use pad controller just you have to connect this pad controller and then select only pa okay and select pa and then this is going to be given to this pdlm generator right and then delete this two okay now we go to provide the value for kp and ka so kp equal to one and ka equal to you have to take the value from this transfer function so 352.7 right so 352.7 so i'm going to use this one and i'm going to apply and okay so now i'm going to check the the response of the system so now we can see that the voltage is maintained at 50 so initially they have uh, overshoot right uh, after some time arrived it, it, it reaches to 50 volt right so now i'm going to change the reference to 40 volt and then you have to check the response of the voltage right so now you can see that the input voltage is 70 now we can see that output voltage we are maintaining 40 right so next I'm going to make so reference voltage is 50 and then I'm going to change to input voltage is 60 right so now I'm going to check the system response 
so now you can see that it maintain at 50 even though on the input voltage reduced from 70 to 60 the output voltage maintain at 50 volt okay so this is a design of uh, a pa controller for buck converter by using system identification toolbox thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe your channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye